Welcome back to the podcast Launchpad and frequently asked question number 14 in my month of posting a new episode every day during the month of November. Today's question is, how many episodes should I launch my podcast with? The easy answer is three to five episodes. All right, so you remember in the early days of Facebook and people would announce that they started a blog and they would launch it launch their blog with just one blog post. Most of the time, people would not continue their blog. Maybe that would be their only post, or they would do a few more posts after that, and they weren't consistent with the posts. They just would let it peter out. Big reason is that they wouldn't have a plan. They wouldn't start out with a content calendar. They wouldn't have a vision for their blog. Most people just start a blog on a whim and again, not have a vision or a plan for it. And so they weren't ready to keep doing it. We kind of got used to that where, oh, look, I started a blog. Here's a post, go check it out. Oh, and that first post would be, you know, hello world and not a whole lot of real content to it. It was just, hey, this is my first post. I'm not sure what I'm going to write about, but stick with me and let's see where this goes. You do not want your first episode to be like that, even though most first episodes are about, hey, welcome to my podcast. Here's what the show is going to be about. So that is fine, but that's why you don't want to launch with only one episode. A lot of people's first episodes are very similar to their trailers. They're just longer than their trailers. So I talked about trailers in the last FAQ episode that I did. Your trailer is only one to three minutes long. Your episodes can be as long as you want, even though I talked about in another FAQ episode, it was the one, uh, I think it was the second one, about why people stop listening to shows. And a big reason that people stop listening to podcasts is when the episodes are too long, when they go longer than 40 minutes. So... You want your episodes ideally to be between 20 and 40 minutes or no longer than that. So your first episode can be totally about, hey, here's what my podcast is about and here's a preview to some upcoming episodes. That's what my first one on this show was about. So totally fine. But people aren't going to stick around if that's the only thing that you have when you first launch. So let's say you launch with a trailer and a, here's what my show is going to be about episode number one. That's not very encouraging to new listeners. When you launch with three to five episodes, those other episodes, whether it's two more or four more episodes are going to have real content in them. You're going to be answering questions right away. You're going to be talking about your area of expertise immediately in those episodes. So when you launch with three to five episodes, people will see, they'll really get what your show is going to be about beyond just what you're telling them it's going to be about. You're going to be showing them what it's about. When you have actual episodes on the content you're promising them that they can go ahead and listen to right away, they're going to be more likely to follow your show on that first time that they come to check you out. Again, when you start with three to five episodes. So think about launching with several episodes when you finally launch. Now, When you start out, as I mentioned in the trailer episode right before this one in the FAQ, you'll launch the trailer first and you'll promote that for one to two weeks first. So when you go live on your official launch day, you will have three to five episodes. You could have more, but I don't recommend more. Five is great. And that will give people real content to listen to and follow right away. So that's it for today. If you have a question, email me hello at AngelaKellysmith.com or DM at 
Instagram, link in the show notes. And uh, I will be back next time with another question and answer. See you then.